Hello Cancer, what's going on? Oh look, you have the Eight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Um, King of Wands, okay. So I guess we started. Um, hello Cancer, my name is Diane and this is Madam Butterfly Tarot, welcome. So you have the Eight of Wands and the King of Wands here. So you could have a fire sign watching you, but to communicate with you, of course, it doesn't have to be a fire sign. You know, like they could have fire prominently in their chart somewhere you don't know about, or they could just kind of embody the characteristics of the King of Wands, like, um, you know, someone very charismatic, very good looking, very charming, like, it's alpha energy, like alpha male, alpha female, like leadership energy, and I don't know if this is someone that maybe broke your heart here, because you have the Three of Swords and the Sun, so I feel like this may be someone that broke your heart. Or you have a broken heart and this is someone coming in to heal, okay? Heal your heart. Um, you're gonna be very happy. It's going from like being sad to being happy here. And I kind of feel like this person may have like kind of a forceful personality, honestly, Cancer, because they've just come straight in. I didn't even get to do my little spiel <laughs> and shuffle the cards and stuff. Um, Either they have quite a strong, I mean, they probably do have quite a strong personality with the King of Wands, but I feel like they're, they, they're close by. Do you know what I mean? Like, they're watching you very intently. Um, you have adoration here, like, this person adores you. They do adore you. Um, and you, yeah, that's interesting. Look, you have the Death card and the World card. So this is, there's some kind of cycle closing and a new cycle beginning. You have two fours here. All right, let me shuffle the deck here. So let me do my spiel. You're very welcome here, Cancer. Uh, thank you so much for checking out the reading. This is going to be for June. Um, hopefully the reading will resonate with you. And I really appreciate you being here, by the way, checking out the reading. Hopefully the reading will resonate with you. And uh, you're going to be very happy, okay? You have the Three of Cups and the Ten of Cups. There's a celebration coming in. The Three of Cups is dating. This is someone coming in to ask you on a date. You guys are going to be happy. Um, hopefully it'll resonate with you and you'll enjoy it. And, um, you know, all that good stuff. And if that is the case and you feel called to like and subscribe for me, I would appreciate that very much as well. All right, clarify these cards for me. Or just, um, what else do you want Cancer to know about this person coming in? <laughs> do you see this? What's going on with your reading? Do you see that? Look, you have the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles here. You have the Ten of Wands. I'm not gonna take reversals. This is someone, okay. This is someone from your past. <laughs> I think this is someone that had trouble. It's definitely, yeah, you've been in separation with this person, okay? They might live a little further away from you. Um, there might always have been like a one-upping kind of thing going on with this person, but they're, they're coming in to give to you, okay? I don't know if you guys fought, like actually fought, or things were just always very up in the air with this person, but it's definitely someone from your past. They could be Taurus with water in their chart, okay? but. Um, or Taurus with Libra in their chart, but the King of Cups was like, he was upside down before he was in reverse. Like, I'm not taking them in reverse, but that just tells me that this is someone like, they might have like, they might be quite a mixture of signs, this person. Like, they, you know, they might have a bit of everything. They might have strong fire, strong water and strong earth but i feel like this may have been someone kind of stubborn with the king of pentacles in the past okay and in the past i feel like they 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 struggled to access their emotions okay because you have the moon here with the, the knight of the, sorry the king of cups so the moon is like repressed emotions right because i feel like there's you right i mean if you want to be the guy you'd be the guy right if you're a dude and you're like i don't want to be the girl then you'd be the guy okay but um you know, you were kind of in like your Queen of Cups energy anyway because you're Cancer, right? You were in your Queen of Cups energy. Like soft, compassionate, loving, but I feel like this person just couldn't kind of get on your level in terms of emotions before, but they've been away doing shadow work. 
so now that you guys are on you know you can meet each other emotionally right um because the king of cups is someone that's done it's, it's self mastery the king of cups is self mastery oh look what's this was i had the deck down here like when i picked it up and i didn't notice i'd left the card see they're coming they're coming in fast with the knight of swords wow this person's quite a forceful energy and they're very determined to have you. They want commitment with you. You have the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. They're going to come in and like this is what they're going to try and get with you. Because they feel like you're their person. You know, the, I, I think if you want to be with this person, you guys will be very happy together. <laughs> you know, the Ten of Pentacles... Um, is like a very grounded, stable energy. You know, like, let's move in together, let's get married, let's have a family, let's get dogs, blah, 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 blah. And the Ten of Cups is like, you make me really happy, like, we'll be happy together. And um, yeah, there was definitely, look at that, you have the Three of Swords with the Ten of Wands. There's been a heartbreak here with this person and I feel like it's because they were kind of all over the place before because you have the knight of wands and the seven of cups so this to me kind of screams like player um or someone that wanted to keep their options open right because you have the seven of cups right which is oh like you know i i don't know which you know i want to keep my options open i want to play the field or like i don't know if i want to settle down yet like it's interesting that you got the King of Wands and the Knight of Wands here because this person, you know, initially I think they were like this Knight of Wands, like maybe a player, kind of in and out energy. Maybe they just weren't ready to settle down. But the King of Wands takes the same energy, like passionate, charming, you know, good looking, all this kind of stuff. But he's a grown up, you know, he or she. It's like, okay, I don't want to screw around anymore. Like, this is my person, you know, I want to still be myself but I want to have like this I want to have I want to get married and settle down and move in with someone right so this is what's come to an end is them screwing around basically like they don't they're, they're done with that okay I think I think this person's kind of seen the light maybe maybe they didn't realize that that's what they were doing before like they had a bit of a fear of commitment or something but They've seen the light and they're coming back, okay? Like they want they want commitment with you. And you have the four of wands here with the seven of pentacles. So I kind of feel this has been like a long time. Like this has been going on for a long, long time with this person. But there's commitment here, like this person's ready to commit to you. Uh you know what? They might have been saving up to buy a house because you have the Seven of Pentacles and the Four of Wands, like the Four of Wands can talk about a house. It could have been something here with a house. I don't know, because you have the Death card. So it could have been like selling a house to get money or, you know, the Seven of Pentacles can talk about saving up. So they could have been saving up to, to buy a house. I feel like there's something here with property, okay, with this person. Um, how is this person seeing yeah so i don't even know like i barely had to pull cards here honestly i feel like you're barely gonna have to do anything like this person's gonna do it all you have true love has just come out <laughs> and destiny i do feel like you guys are kind of perfect for each other because maybe not when you first met because i feel like they had some issues they needed to sort out or they just weren't sure they wanted to settle down but they they are now because it's because of you because they want you um they maybe wouldn't have settled down for anyone else but they want you and i think now you know now that they've got into their king of cups energy they're more able to to give you what you want kind of thing and they're coming in very fast the knight of swords is also someone very determined and you have true love and you have destiny so i do feel like there's something kind of written in the uh, stars about this to be honest, Cancer. Dance together. So, you know, I feel like it was hard work. I want to say that. Because you have the Ten of Wands and the Three of Swords. I feel like it was hard work with this person before. You know? 
but it's not going to be like that now, you know. Um, you're actually going to have a lot of fun now because you've put in all the work, like you guys have done the work that you had to do and now it's time, you know, you can have fun, right? The hard work is done. Oh, just look, you have soulmate here. So this person feels like you're their soulmate. Because they wanted to keep their options open, I think, but they never found anyone like you, so. My beauty, that came out before and uh, I reshuffled it. They have commitment here at the bottom of the deck as well. I feel like this person, they've been watching you. Okay, I don't know what that means. Like, it, it, maybe they, like it, they know your friends or something or they're watching you online or something, they're watching you, but they're gonna come in and offer you commitment. Like the Eight of Wands is communication. They might come in very strong, this person, okay? Um, Cause that's kind of the energy they're giving off. It's like when they come in, it's like boom, boom, boom. I also feel like there's a kid here. I feel like I've been saying that a lot in the readings recently. You have my beauty here. Um, see how she's holding a kid there as well. This person thinks you're gorgeous. All right, and it's like you're mine. <laughs> they feel like you're my, they're they're yours, because this person's the king of wands, you know, or the queen if you're dealing with a girl. But um, like very good looking, you know, the king of wands is someone very good looking, very charming, very charismatic, you know. So you're kind of equally good looking is what they're thinking, right? They they just think you're gorgeous. Also, I feel like, you know, because she is holding a kid, um and you have the Queen of Cups here, I feel like you're, they feel like you're a very nurturing energy. So like you're really, you're really good looking, like they find you very attractive, but you're also very nurturing, you know? Look, look you have I love you. <laughs> the person's in love with you. Um, and you, oh, they realized that they loved you. I don't think they knew they loved you before. Cause you have the, the I love you with the sun, so, like, it, I don't know, they realized that they were like, ah, oh, damn, cancer's the one. Like, I let the one go, damn. Uh, and you have teamwork, which is why I was talking about a kid, because you see there's a little baby there, and you have the sun, which has a baby on it, so, you know, this uh, kind of looks like there might be a pregnancy here. Could be your twin flame, you have twin flames at the bottom of the deck here. I don't really feel like pulling from that deck today. Um, Let's get some of these bad boys. Yes? No? What deck are we going to go with? Okay. Well, the, one, the card that wanted to come out from here is the Two of Cups. Cancer, I don't, you have got all the soppiest cards. <laughs> like you have, the, you have the Sun, you have I Love You, you have Soulmate, you have True Love, you have the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, it's all like soppy stuff, like this person's like smitten. You have the sun as well, which is commitment and babies and marriage. You have the two of cups here, like a reflection. I am yours forever. Sorry if you can hear the trucks going by. Um, I live close to a road. You have the ten of cups here. Oh my god, look. You have the nine of cups and the ten of cups on the split. There's a family here for some of you for sure. Like, if that's, you know, something that would apply to you, um, for sure. But the Ten of Cups is, you know, emotional fulfillment. You make them really happy. Uh, commitment, the Nine of Cups, you satisfy me emotionally, mentally, and physically. See, you have everything. You have everything that they want. So there's obviously a strong mental connection here as well. The Ace of Wands. <laughs> They're very uh, attracted to you. So you have a King of Wands, you know, very passionate, very like uh, sexy kind of person, very alluring, lots of, you know, mm -mm, energy, and they're very attracted to you, right, with the Ace of Wands. So you're about to get a good Cancer. <laughs> um, okay, what else would this person like to say to Cancer? Sun. Are you kidding me? I just gotta say, like, I feel like this person is gonna, like, they, it's gonna be like an assault, like a full, like a full on, like, charm, 
trying to get you like offensive like that's just, like these cards are ridiculous you have the sun twice on top of I love you uh, you illuminate me I'm the happiest I've ever been so you make this person really happy that is ridiculous uh, also with the king of wands you know this is someone very charming very charming so I have to watch what I see on YouTube but you know I don't know. Good luck resisting them. You have the Ten of Cups here as well, again. Um, okay, what else would this person like to say to Cancer? Let's get another couple. Oh, hello. Okay, you have the Chariot and the Three of Cups. Okay. And the Ace of Wands again at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Definitely, uh, there's a kid here for some of you. Okay. Just be careful with that because I kind of feel like maybe person would kind of like to lock it down with you honestly like that mm -hmm. and you have the three of wands and the death card so this person has been through I think they've been waiting for you because you have the seven of pentacles here which is about waiting and then you have the death card and then you have the death card and the three of wands three of wands is about waiting and the camera went to 1616 as I said that so you may have been like resisting this person because you were like you know, they hurt you, right? But I feel like they've been waiting for you to kind of be ready for them to come back in. So, like as soon as they, because it's, it's like about energy, right? So this person's been kind of energetically like watching and waiting for the right time to come back in. And when, once they feel that, you know, like they've been given the go ahead, they're gonna be like, shoom. <laughs> Bullets will leave guns slower. Uh, so you have the chariot and you have the three of cups here. So yeah, the chariot, that's also something happening very fast, but um, this person feels like you guys are kind of meant to be together. The, uh, this card says together we can get through anything. They feel like, it's like, okay, so we had this heartbreak and we went through this stuff, but it, they almost feel like you guys have learned a lot from each other and it's made the connection stronger because they know what they need to work on, you know, you know what you need to work on, you know what the other person needs to make this work, you understand what I'm saying? Um, and also with the Three of Cups here, uh, that's on top of dance together, I feel like you have a lot of fun because I feel like there was maybe a lot of shadow work and like insecurities getting in the way before but now that all that's out of the way you're gonna have a lot of fun also the three of cups is about dating so like this person's gonna come in pretty fast and ask you on a date okay um, but you're gonna have a lot of fun this is a really beautiful reading but expect them to come in like fast and like it's almost like a like a, an offensive <laughs> you know what I mean like like a charm offensive. So that's your reading cancer. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you feel like doing that. I'd appreciate it very much. And as always, I wish you many blessings. Love and light. Take care.